Hey, what's up, guys? Zero Cash here with some more Walker Assault Star Wars Battlefront. I, I can't get enough of this uh, of this demo. I'm sorry, it is the demo or the beta or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and by the time this comes out, it'll be over. Hopefully, you got a chance to play it. We're going to be putting up a review of it, as well as a couple questions that we have. Um, right now, it appears that and I actually didn't think that this would happen, but the uh, the opinion on this game is split pretty much right down the middle. Uh, some pe a lot of people are absolutely loving it, and then there are other people that feel like this is uh, it's too simplistic. Apparently, the fact that you don't have to aim down sights has actually really annoyed some people, uh, which is weird to me. I, I Here's the thing, though. This is the first Battlefield game I've ever played. So that could be a totally legitimate thing. It just doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it just seems, I don't know. Like I, Maybe I'm just an asshole. It just doesn't seem like that's something that... I mean, when you look at the, the scope of the game and you look at the things you're able to do and the characters you're able to, you know, kind of play as and stuff like that, it's hard to imagine that people would pick something so stupid out uh, to, to cry about. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know what? I need to get that personal shield. I've got more money. I, I've got a ton of money. I think I've got at least like 5,000 uh, credits in the game. So I need to go ahead and get that shield because, you know, the... Uh, Oh, look at that guy. Boosh! Oh, have a good day, sir. That's why, you know, I I love the cycler rifle because if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know that I love sniping. But I will say this. It makes it unbel... Oh, fuck. Please, please, please go up. Oh, my God. Thank God. Oh, look at this. Orbital strike. How beautiful. Let's see if we can't... That was not probably good. I don't think we're hitting it at all. Yeah, we're we're yeah, we are hitting it. We got a nice couple hits on it. Look at it. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, guys, get him. Get this motherfucker. Yes. Oh my god. Anyway, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know. You know, in in the previous video. Oh my god. Oh what. Oh. Uh, in a previous video, I did say, hey, you know what, it, this is a lot like Battlefield, which I didn't mean and certainly did not mean in a bad way, although... Oh my god, hero! Hero coin! Hold up, guys. Hold up, guys. It just changed away from a hero coin. This was a hero coin. I fucking promise you. I was about to be, uh... I was about to be old Luke there for a second. Damn it! Oh, I'm so... I'm so annoyed right now. It, did you see that? It just changed! Like... Oh... I was really hoping... That was a shitty shot. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Anyway, uh, the cycler rifle, pretty cool little little toy to have. Uh, I can't see any reason not to do this. As oh god, as one of your cards, uh, as it provides an extra. Oh god. As oh god, enemy locking. What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, so you know, here's the thing. I'm kind of split down the middle when it comes to is this just a reskin of Battlefield. Uh, I don't... I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a reskin, but there are a lot of elements that feel exactly the same. And I mean, that is going to happen because it is a shooter on a large scale. So that is what Battlefield's, for the most part, always been outside, of course, of uh, Battlefield Hardline. But uh, it's very easy to see some of the similarities here. Now, I will say this... Uh, Oh, shit. There goes Darth Vader. We need to get out of guys. Oh, my God. He's right there. Oh, I got him in the head. You bitch. Okay, I need to stop shooting at him now. Got him. I just killed Darth Vader. Got it on fucking video. I mean, I'm sure everybody watching that played this has done the same. But it's, there's something very uh, rewarding about getting that kill. Anyway, uh, no, it's, it's cool. Like... There's a lot going on in the background. You don't really see that with Battlefield most of the time. Uh, I think maybe probably we'll see a lot of that in the future just because of this game. I think that this game will be very successful, but it is easy to see how some people are saying it's, it's, it's Battlefield. Because I will tell you this, being someone who has been playing Battlefield since, uh, what, I guess, uh, since uh, Jellies, my boy Scott Hawford, since he got, uh, since he got me into Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2, I've always been about my battlefield. I'm not gonna lie. Ouch. Um, 
by the way, quick shout out to my boy Scott. I'm gonna go ahead and include a link to his work in the description. The dude is fucking a brilliant artist. Like, this guy... He's one of those people that, you know, you watch him create something and you just start to dislike him because he's so very good at it and you just get jealous. And you're like, why why do I not have the ability to do that, you know? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and I don't mean it's just me that thinks he's good. I mean, it's probably just me that thinks that way about shit. And I, of course, I don't mean that I don't. I dislike him, but you know what I mean. It's just he's got an insane talent. And, uh, and he's putting it to work, so Scott, keep it up, man. Uh, that coffee, that morning time logo thing you did was fucking nasty with it, man. That's my boy right there. Alright, so back to the game. Oh my god! Damn it, I really, that was pretty sick. I can't, wait. I thought, wait, what? Okay, so, one thing you can do, uh, another thing similar to Battlefield, is you have a partner, and that's the only person that you can spawn on. You can't have multiple partners. Uh, yeah, this is, uh... This is not a- oh god! Oh god! Yeah, you can't be promiscuous in this game. Just one partner, that is it. That is all you get. Um, now that's alright. You know, I don't actually mind it. Fuck, there's Darth. Let's see if we can get some shots in on this little fucker. Fucking prick. Shit. Now you have to be exceedingly careful, and this is another way in which I think that this does kind of feel like Battlefield in a lot of ways. Um, once people start getting the high ground, it's gonna be all... Oh my god. It's gonna be all people with the... Fuck, there's Darth, man! There he is! There's this prick right here! Oh, he's force choking me! Oh! Oh my god. I killed Vader and got killed by Vader in the same video. Right, what more can I hope for, you know what I mean? Oh my god! Damn it! No! No! Fucking son of a bitch! Son of a fucking bitch! Oh, what a- I'm so upset. I'm so- where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, is that- is that somebody chasing my boy? Shit. Take this fucking asshole out, you guys. Come on. Shit. Oh, here we go. Charge up, baby. I use this shit too- oh! Okay, that wasn't directed at me. There's somebody behind you, you idiots! How the fuck did he kill me? Oh my god. Insanity. But anyway, so you can spawn on your partner, which is nice. And of course, just like any other game, you want to be extremely careful when you do that. Because like you saw, I I spawned on him and I knew he was kind of in the proximity of Vader. I thought maybe I could I could take him down, but uh, you know, you saw what happened. It's, uh, it was all bad. All fucking bad. Oh, well, all right. God damn. Okay, so one more way, and I think that what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna make, make a video to explain what's different about this game in comparison to Battlefield and what's the same. Oh, no! Oh, he got the hero card. You're a piece of shit. He gets to be Luke. You're gonna hear the Star Wars music. There it goes. What an asshole. He got fucking Luke. I was right there again. This game is fucking with me. It's fucking with me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, come on. Uh, if we hadn't stooged our way into the fucking doorway there, we might have survived that. But, you know, could have done a little something, something. Nope. Just had an orgy in the fucking door frame. It was fantastic. Jesus. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say... Sorry, I'm getting off track because this game is... It's insane. Uh, another way in which this is somewhat similar is the, is the vehicle gameplay. Um, of course, there are TIE Fighters and X-Wings and A-Wings and Y-Wings and all kinds of things to fly around. Uh, but then there are also the ATs, AT, STs, and you can just wreak fucking havoc with these fucking things. I'm a dead man. Yep. God damn. There's that high ground I'm talking about. Now, I don't... I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it. A lot of people don't seem to understand that having the high ground is a pretty legit strategy. Oh! <laughs> he did not... Oh, he did not see that shit coming, did he? He was like, oh, I got my little bubble. Nope. Sorry, bro. My cycler rifle trumps your bubble, homie. Um, so anyway, you can wreak havoc in the uh, in the vehicles. I I had a game, which of course people do this outside of vehicles because they're so grossly good. But I had one game, shit, uh, where I had uh, I think th I went 33 and eight. I went, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Let's see where I'm at. I'm, I'm 7 and 13, guys. It, it pisses me off. It's the same shit again. I do so well, and then, and then I start recording. I hit that record button, dude, and my whole life changes. All right. <laughs> oh, Christ. 
But again, any time that I play any game, it's mainly just so you guys can kind of see it. You know, have some fun, have some discussion. Ugh. Fuck! Damn it. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill without... Did I, did I legit just get stomped on by an AT-AT? I, I, I... How did... I... Oh, God. That's so embarrassing. Oh, God! That's the other thing, too, you know, is that the AT-ATs in Walker Assault, they don't just fucking walk around. They're not, you know, a background that you need to try to get through. These motherfuckers will shoot at you. I mean, they will take your ass out. Let's get up here. Let's get the fuck up here. Got an asshole right here. Oh, my God. There was too many. Man, if I had had a thermal imploder. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Well, when it's said and done, you know, obviously this is the only game that was, uh, or I'm sorry, this is the only, uh, map that was allowed to be played inside of the devil, uh, inside of the demo, um, I just said devil, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Um, and so, you know, it's hard when you have betas like this, when you can only ha have one level. I understand why they do it, you don't want to give too much of your epic game away, but at the same time, this always helps people kind of get, you know, an idea of, uh, of what they're going to be looking at. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh! God! Oh! <laughs> Fucking prick, man. So they're shooting the fuck out of this thing, out of the at, -AT. It doesn't look like... I can do much at this point. Um, anyway, yeah, they're not just set pieces, man. Those fucking things will fire on you, and they will target you specifically if you get too close. It's scary as fuck, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, honestly, being in this thing right now, being in this little turret, it's eventually it's probably gonna start targeting me. All right. You can also another thing I want to say that's a little different than Battlefield is that oh, it seems like you could damn near snipe people across the map with just about any given weapon in the game. Uh, anything from the starter weapon to the most expensive weapon, which has an extremely high rate of fire and does a little bit less damage than all the others, still you're able to just pick people off at a distance, which I think is a little weird. Um, it's not necessarily game-breaking because everybody's able to do it, but I do think that maybe that needs to be tweaked just a little bit. You know, I think that maybe taking it and saying, okay, let's let's make it so that you know, more like actually Battlefield, where, you know, you have some weapons that are going to be good at medium to long range, and then you have, of course, your sniper rifles, which is what the cycler rifle, of, you know, essentially is. Uh, I don't even know why I said essentially, it's just that's what it is. It's a fucking sniper rifle. This guy, he's going to see me in this ATST. Shit, he's already aiming at me. Trying to get the fuck out of there. Um, it is absolute chaos, as you can tell here. Oh, there's a coin. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. There's somebody coming up on us right here, but maybe we'll get something good. A vehicle turret. So that's actually fantastic. Oh god, see, so that what was just hitting us right there, that is actually the ATAT -AT right now. So we're gonna put this vehicle turret down right here. And then we're gonna do our best to get back to cover here. Jesus. Fuck, they're taking it right out. And there's somebody coming up behind our, uh, our, fuck. Oh. Yeah, somebody's here, and I'm actually stuck right now, guys. Yeah, I couldn't move. <laughs> God damn it. Now, I wonder, can I change my card? I cannot. Damn it. You know the ion shot? Um, <clears throat> the ion shot gives you kind of a boost uh, with your gun that will affect shields and things like that a little bit more. It's not a bad thing to have, but oh my god, but I can pretty much, I feel like the, uh, the personal shield might be a better bet. So, we need to take these eight, uh, these at, -AT walkers out, right? And I think that one of the best ways to do that without having the, uh, without having a ship to actually, you know, like a TIE, uh, not TIE fire, like an A-Wing or whatever, to take it out is actually... Oh, sorry, son. Oh, damn, I could not kill him. Uh, orbital Strike. I'm going to just say it before I forget. Uh, orbital Strike, if, if we could... If you can get to a point where, you know, their shields are down and you can put down a fucking Orbital Strike on these bastards, I mean, you're in great shape. Um, I actually... I'm putting one down just so you can see the Orbital Strike here. Whatever happens. Oh, my God, look at that. 
we actually got. That's hilarious. Oh. Now this is a lost game. If they're this far and you haven't even taken out one of them, you've lost this game. That's all there is to it. But it doesn't, you know, this is one of the few games. I don't give a shit. Well, I don't really care about any game if I lose, but this one in particular because it's so much fun to play and there's so much going on on the battlefield. Uh, I'm not doing very well, but um, even so, I'm having tons of fun playing this game. I cannot stop playing. I'm really sad. I kind of wish that the beta had been maybe through till uh, next weekend. Like, you know, maybe the 15th or 16th maybe. Um, I think that would have been really cool, but it is what it is, and if you got to play it, you're lucky. I mean, yeah, it was open to everybody, but, um, there, we actually had some Xbox Live issues, uh, which I had as well. STL Kid and I were gonna do a video on this together, but we were unable to, uh, even see each other in the party, so uh, we couldn't actually play together. Really poopy. All right, so that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, leave a like if you feel like it. If you want, comment, let us know. Are you picking up Star Wars Battlefront immediately? Are you going to be waiting on the reviews? What do you think of the gameplay so far? Did you get to play the demo? I'm sorry, the beta. And if so, what do you think needs to be changed when it comes to Star Wars Battlefront? Till next time, guys.